Axum is the centre of an ancient and once powerful empire. Cold stone pillars mark forgotten graves in the dry fields of Tiff. These elaborate towering stelae mark the final resting places of kings and emperors. Carvings on the granite stele represent doors and windows of a multi-story building. One monument was taken on orders from Mussolini during the Italian occupation and erected in Rome. It was recently returned to Axum and is being restored to its former glory. The tallest monolith in Axum would have been 33 meters tall had it not fallen and shattered centuries ago. The village of Lalibela was once the thriving capital of a medieval dynasty. It is set in the craggy highland mountains of northern Ethiopia. Inspired by angels, King Lalibela was driven by a vision of creating a new Jerusalem. In the 12th century, he ordered the construction of numerous rock-hewn churches. Gondar was the royal capital of Ethiopia in the 17th and 18th centuries. Its past glory can still be appreciated today in its medieval castle-like palaces. The oldest and most impressive is that of Emperor Fasilidas, the first ruler of Gondar. The fine stone masonry may be the work of Judaic Ethiopians who have inhabited the area since before the coming of Christianity. The islands of Lake Tana abound with fascinating monasteries and churches. Colorful frescoes depict scenes from Ethiopian biblical lore and from the history of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Ornate murals adorn the walls. Ancient illuminated manuscripts are shown to visitors with pride. For the experience of a lifetime, journey into the rich tapestry that is Ethiopia. <laughs>